know there's more in you, but you cannot see it. There's a remedy, and I've got the strategy. It's time to turn the dream into a reality. All right, welcome everyone to Push Talk Podcast. My name is Assistant Say. I am creator of Push Talk Podcast, here to push you towards your purpose and business career beyond. Today, I have the amazing Dominique Harding with us. Um, and we are, or excuse me, Dominique Harding Jaja. Wait, Benson Jaja, because she is no longer Harding. She's a Benson Jaja. She got recently married. So, congratulations, Dominique. But we're excited to have you today. You're going to talk to us about um, something that's really, really important um, for career professionals, business professionals, and for everybody, to be honest. But because this podcast really focuses on career and business professionals, um, we wanted to go into pushing people to their purpose in business career and now the beyond. So the beyond is going to be what we're going to touch on today. And it's tools, daily tools for career business professionals when it comes to meditation and finding that quiet time that could advance you in all areas of your life. Um, I'm going to read Dominique's bio really quickly and then we're going to jump right in. Dominique is a professional, a businesswoman, and so much more. Um, her work speaks for itself. She does so much in the area of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Her life's work is really about bringing people together for bold conversations about racism, resulting in lasting and trans transformative change. Her aim is to leave people with a new lens of empathy and strategy so that they can apply their own apply in their own spheres of influence and help to combat the races agenda. Um, Dominique has been doing this work with a very prominent nonprofit and in many other facets. She also volunteers to bring her um, strategy and skills and vision into many civil rights organizations. And these are just a couple of things Dominique do daily for to help with her commitment to anti-racism. Her success has been able to support tons of CEOs, the um, executive directors, clergy, CFOs, board members, and beyond. Through her training and guidance, individuals are empowered um, in organizational leadership, and she helps them to navigate issues of race with confidence and empathy. But not only is Dominique doing that, she's also teaching people how to find that space to create time with God, which is her organization she's going to talk about, and help us understand the importance of daily meditation. So welcome again, Dominique. Really happy to have you. Have you here. Thank, Thank you very you much. So Happy to be here. You're welcome. So I know we went into your bio. We talked a little bit. I want to jump right in, Dominique. Um, now you have this business time with God, and we have you on here today to share more about it. Um, a lot of our career, career and business professionals really struggle with, you know, finding that space, space of peace mm -hmm. and, and just mm -hmm. finding a place to really be able to just go through life and all that comes with running a business or being, you know, building your career. Um, and it's important to find that quiet space daily. So can you share with us about Time with God, what it is and, um, you know, what made you start it? Absolutely. And thank you so much for the opportunity to be here and be with you all. So Time with God is a virtual um, platform designed to create space for people to spend their uh, time with God, um, their own daily devotional routine cultivated. And so what that looks like is we gather every Tuesday and Thursday before uh, work, we know that as business professionals, we're always working, many of us, but um, we've carved out space in a community um, for consistency and accountability and actually building a daily devotional life. And so what it looks like is that we come on, um, there is a very brief teaching for a practical tip that you can apply in your daily devotional time. If you've never spent time with God before, that's okay. And then uh, we mute ourselves, 
videos off, everyone goes to spend their time with God, which looks like a variety of ways, but it always incorporates the Bible and you praying and, and spending intimate personal time with God and developing that intimacy. So tell us what makes time with God so important as a business professional, as a career professional. Um, it sounds like this is something that you're very really passionate about. I can hear your voice. Why is this important? Why does it matter for us to set aside time with God? Yes, time with God is very foundational, I believe, for, I know in my own life, for a successful uh, business um, and career. Uh, and one of the reasons why is because um, spending time with God releases wisdom to make um, wise decisions as it relates to our businesses and as it relates to our careers. It releases wisdom. It releases insight. Developing that intimacy with God really brings us into a place where we are more sensitive to hearing the voice of God um, and cultivating that allows that to translate into our businesses in a way that results in success. I, I, I asked that question, but I, I actually 100% agree. Um, as a business person who um, tries my best to master time with God, it's, it, I've seen so much growth and just what I get during that time of revelation and, and prayer and just really seeking um, God. But I, I would love to ask as somebody maybe from the outside in who hasn't done it, um, you know, how does that like... I guess I should say, how does that look like for, for somebody? They, they don't know. They've never opened up a Bible. They've never, you know, all they hear is meditation. You know, what does that mean? Can you actually even explain the difference between um, like meditation for time with God and what we hear and how that also correlates with prayer? Because I know in this process, it sounds like there's also some prayer there in meditation time. So can you differentiate those two and then also tell me as somebody who maybe has never done this before what that would look like for your first time joining in. Sure. Uh, meditation um, as it relates to this time with God basically means to ponder, to listen, to have time to reflect and assess um, on who God is and what he is doing and saying in your life. And so even if you have never um, opened uh, the scriptures before, the Bible before, um, time with God actually provides you strategies on what the templates may look like to be able to build that intimacy with God. So when we talk about um, the differences between prayer and meditation, I would simply say that all meditation um, as it relates to this type of meditation, includes prayer, but not all prayer includes meditation. And what I mean by that is uh, meditation is reflecting and pondering. And so it's possible to um, pray without then carrying that with you in terms of the reflection and the pondering um, of what you gained during that prayer, if that makes sense. It does. It makes a lot of sense because you can go into time with God and miss a lot because you're not taking time to also um, like ponder and listen. So mm -hmm. I, I love that. Now for somebody who is new to this, like who is this for and how do I come into this? I've never experienced time with God. I, you know, I'm actually hesitant because I haven't opened the Bible before. If this is somebody that's new to it, talk a little bit about how that person gets into this and, um, and give us that kind of a visual, if you don't mind, just so they get can understand the experience. Yes, absolutely. So time with God is for both the uh, people of all ages, of the career and business professional, as well as everyone, but for the purposes of this podcast, uh, for career and business professionals who are very busy and they want to find a way to uh, prioritize Christ. Um, and so what it would look like uh, for the person who may have never spent time with God is you would come into um, the session and um, you would be provided with um, different strategies for you to spend time with God. So some of these may look like um, learning how to uh, read the scriptures. And then you could even start with some practical tips like what area in my career or business um, do I struggle in? 
and you begin having a simple conversation with God about what those areas are and asking for his help in his heart. Um, another, another place to start would be gratitude. Gratitude is incredible in terms of building intimacy with God because um, sometimes in our time with God, we um, approach God only from a perspective of what can I get, but gratitude shifts the conversation to what can I give. Thank you for the abundance in my career and profession that you have already provided. And so uh, basically the very um, entry point, if you will, uh, looks like you starting a simple conversation with God from your heart, not based upon what you think it should look like or um, what you heard it looks like, but mm -hmm. what, what is really required to spend effective time with God is a present and willing heart and that's and that that is the entry point awesome thank you so much i honestly love what you said because as um somebody who again is in business and can relate to um getting this time with god sometimes you come in just like oh i need this or i'm trying to land this or god show me how but as i've spent time with god through um the journey you realize that when you go into it, just like you said, with the heart of gratitude, like I'm just here to receive your love and I'm just here mm -hmm. to give my thanks. Um, you end up walking away with so much more than you even intended, not only the answers to those questions, but life things that face us. So mm -hmm. I love that you said coming in with the heart of gratitude yeah. with everything, this time with God and everything in life. So um, I, I guess for me, um, the, the, question that I wanted to go back to, um, and forgive me, I don't think I heard you answer, uh, is about who. I know you said it's for anybody, but um, who would you say would be a good person to start off with your program? Um, how much is this? Is there a cost to it? Um, and um, I wanted to also ask, you know, for those who still feel intimidated and struggle, struggling with grasping the concept of coming into a space with new people and doing this what are some words of wisdom that you would say would really help to ease off that stress mm -hmm. uh, about it? Yes. Uh, well, Time with God's target um, audience really is uh, for anyone who desires to build consistency and accountability um, in spending and developing intimacy with God. So specifically, this looks like the person who has never spent time with God and would like to develop that intimacy with God or for the person who has spent time with God for a long time, but yet needs, um, would like to be revived in that place yeah. because it's possible to be spending time with God, um, mm -hmm. for a long time, you mm -hmm. know, many years or months or whatever, but that person may be, um, their time has gotten stale. Um, many of us know as uh, career professionals um, also what it's like even in our professional relationships um, and for things to grow stale. And so yeah, there is yeah. a revitalization that's needed um, sometimes in that space. And so a person need not worry even if they have not spent that time with God because the space is designed to cultivate um, that daily devotional routine. Awesome. And then now, um, what's something you would say to somebody who, like, is worried or um, or concerned about it, or even the seasoned person, like even myself, as I raise my hand, okay. where you know I've spent time with God for years, years, but it's stale, and you just want to get back into an environment to do it, or just wants to to be in a community. You know, what would you? What would be good words to convince them? And then you didn't tell us. Um, where the price, what's the price for this? Was it really yeah. important for them to hear? I'm so excited for you to tell them what the price is. <laughs> yes. Uh, so there is a no cost. It is absolutely free. Free 99. Um, yes. yes it <laughs> so it's absolutely free and we welcome um, each of you. And so um, words of wisdom, I would start out by saying that you are not alone. Time mm -hmm. with God is a single most foundational eternal investment that you can make, not only for um, developing intimacy with God, but also I, I'm thinking about a certain scripture, I believe it's Psalm 103, but it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Mm -hmm. And it goes through this list of benefits. And so I say that to say, even though our motive and intention is developing intimacy with God is to know him, 
and also to cultivate our purpose and coming to the knowledge of what that is. But we there are also benefits that come with time with God. So time with God is an eternal investment, but it is the only investment that I've found as a career professional that has um, temporal implications and eternal implications. You don't just reap the benefits in eternity, so to speak. You reap the benefits right now. Mm-hmm. And so that uh, there, there are a plethora of those strategy, insight, um, an advantage, um, conflict resolution skills as a as a business professional. Um, mm-hmm. Just the list goes on and on and on. Yeah. And so I would say you are not alone. Yeah. And I would also say that uh, it it is. I think about um, a quote, and the quote uh, is by A. W. Tozier, and it simply says, "As God is exalted to the right place in our lives." a thousand problems are solved all at once. Love that. Love that, Dominique. You've convinced me. (laughs) I'm excited, you guys. I actually have signed up to join and, um, you know, such in the habit of my own time with God, but I'm excited Mm -hmm. to plug into a community because, as you said, um, there's so much more than just what we can get. Yes, you get um, support with, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, business decisions and even strategies. I've gotten so much strategy just going to a a space with God, but also just what I've been able to heal from and just learn about myself and things I want to, you know, get better at all this just from taking that time Mm -hmm. one hour a day in the morning. And maybe as you grow, it'll be long, it'll be more. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, for those of you who Dominique has been spending time with God for a long time, um, mm-hmm. and I know we're going to be wrapping up here, but I would love Dominique for you to talk about um, really quickly um, outside of where I've put up the flyer where they can find you. I want you guys to email her so you can join Time with God. But tell us what Time with God looks like in your life. Like, where did you start and where are you at now? Mm-hmm. Um, because I think that's important for people to see. It's not an overnight thing. As you get on there, there may be some days that it's really hard to press in for the yeah. hour. Maybe you do 20 minutes, but the goal is you want to create a space where this becomes something like you're eating food, like you're breathing air. Um, yes. Because it's vital for career professionals, business professionals to have a space of um, seeking God and setting that time for our lives. You know, the many other hats we wear. Um, it's beyond just our career and business. It's the beyond, like I said, this podcast touches on. And if you don't have a space yes. with God in your life, mm-hmm. um, and the times we live in and the world we get live in, um, it really helps you to keep your peace. Um, so I would love to hear just if you could share your journey of sure. your time with God growth, um, and then we will wrap up. Sounds great. Um, So there's a lot that I could say, but for the essence of time, I would say that my journey as a career professional showed me um, the reality of who Christ is through spending time with him. And I began to understand as a DEI professional how my personal private time with God and developing that intimacy with him translates to the workplace. And I begin to understand that time with God, um, that God is not just a God of church. God is not just, he's also a God of business. He has a mind, you know, he has a will, Um, he has a purpose and he has a purpose for you. And I begin to recognize that God is not just a God of church. He's also a God of business, but he's not just a God of business. He's also a God of our daily affairs, uh, of our day to day. So it's not just about the, the, the big you know, the big moments. It is about the small moments. And I will say in my journey, um, I have learned that uh, time with God is not um, only about, uh, oh, I have to spend an hour or three hours with God. I would encourage a person to not even focus just on the time itself. Focus on the presence presence because it's possible to be uh spend time with God for an hour and you were only present for one minute of that hour. So presence is what's most important. But um how my journey actually started was that I began to recognize that in my career there were problems that were bigger than I was. I it required more wisdom than I had. <laughs> and so um 
as my background uh, dealt with, um, you know, I, I grew up in church, which is not a requirement at all, but this is just my story. I grew up in church. And so I began to say, huh, I heard a lady one day um, on TV say, did you know that you can spend one-on-one time with God? It had never occurred to me. And mm-hmm. I thought to myself, I want to see if I can spend time with God to resolve some of these issues that I'm having on my job and in my life. Mm-hmm. And so I began spending time in the scriptures. I began just simple communication with God and it grew from there. Yeah. Um, and I began to encounter the God of the small moments um, and not just the God of the big moments, but the God of it all. The God who's concerned about daily affairs, um, who's concerned about me. Not just a thing that I'm doing, but me. And when I recognize God is concerned about me, that translates over to the career. That translates mm-hmm. over to um, the profession in profound ways. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to cough there. But I love, love that, Dominique, because I think um, it's so important for us to realize that it's it's not just about this time either. Like, as you start to grow in your relationship with anybody, yeah. you spend time with them all the time. You call them on the phone, you're driving, you're texting, you know, you just have fun, you know, chatting with your friend throughout the day at work or on board, you know, I'm talking to you or, hey, I'm happy, I'm talking to you, I'm sad, I'm calling you. That's the same kind of relationship that Time of God wants to cultivate with our Heavenly Father. Um, and for those who don't know him, it's an opportunity now for you to, Take try it out. See how it works. You you know you we're you know we're not this like Dominique said. It's there's no um, rule or regulation on who can join, but I challenge you all, at listeners, to try it out. See how it works for you. It doesn't matter what walk of life you come from, but know that the principles are rooted in Christian principles and the meditation practices, like um, Dominique said, are um, are rooted in med- um, Christian meditation and prayer. Um, so come with an open mind and see how your life changes. Um, and then you'll start to find God in everywhere you go, everything you do. And I'm only a testament of this because Dominique has helped me along this journey. I've taken her time with God classes before, and I've seen just over my life of growing up in church, but developing a, a relationship with God for myself in every area, how it's helped me and how I'm still growing. I'm still on a journey. So um, I'm excited to join back. I thank you, Dominique, so much for this opportunity to share. We didn't have enough time to go through everything, but I think it's important, um, all the things you touched on. Dominique has other great programs and things that she is doing. So I'm so excited to have her back to share about not only a time with God space, but a space to focus on individuals who want to be able to really seek in a a constructive um, community, supportive community that help them with achieving goals, um, um, which is called stoaching. So we'll hear more about that mm-hmm. on the next time. And I'll put more about it in the show notes. But when you go visit Dominique, um, you will be able to see more of that. Where else could they find you, Dominique? Outside of emailing you here um, on Facebook, where where will be the best place for people to find you to learn more about what you do and what you what, the work you do in DEI and beyond? Yes, um, the uh, best place would be Facebook and the email. Um, Mm -hmm. And also at that time, you'll be provided with a registration link for either Stoaching, which we'll discuss later, but either Stoaching or and Time with God. So there's a direct registration link and then you join the sessions from there. Yes. And on Facebook, it is Dominique Harding, right? Hardy, yeah. H-A-R-D-Y. H-A-R-D-Y. Yep. Yes. Okay, perfect. Mm-hmm. So I had that up there. So you can see mm-hmm. her name scrolling at the bottom for faith. Those that want to find her, follow her on Facebook. Dominique yeah. is has written many books. She has walked through many stages of life went through so many things and have come out on top now a married woman um, living her best life but there's so much she has to offer and that's why i wouldn't have asked anybody else to come on and share about something as um, personal and as um, sensitive sometimes to people um, about you know time with god she's 
a phenomenal woman. I'm so happy to have you. I just can't believe how much in, in your lifespan you've been able to produce. Um, and I'm excited to have you now help people um, go through their life journey through your program, Time With God. So thank you for coming on. We're excited to see where this grows to. Thank you listeners for joining us today. For more information, make sure you check out Dominique and email her to join on um, Time With God. Thank you again, Dominique, for your time. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.